Well, there's two possibilities. One, like Franklin said, it would be like a ping pong match. It would go back, and then the gravity would pull it, and then pull it, and then reducing the amount of speed every time, and then like stay in the middle at the end. But there's also a possibility that like there's a lot of pressure, so it might just go through and like midway it might just explode, or half midway. Okay. Why, why would the, uh, why do you think the path of the object would become less and less as it goes through? Because like w if it goes really, really fast and then pulls back, every time it pulls back, the moment it, the gravity pulls it back, it reduces like a little bit of the speed. Like pulls, 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 and then it starts again, and then pulls, 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 and it's it takes like zero point one percent of the speed or something. Even if it's just a little bit, yeah. it would cause it to begin to move toward the center. Okay. That, well, like I said earlier, the ping pong match, and like Ellie said, it's gonna stop. It's gonna eventually stop in the middle. But the reason I think is because um, gravity does not create momentum. And so the ball goes down, it's got a lot of momentum, right? Um, and uh, then the gravity, it pulls it up, pushes it down, up, down. But the gravity is not creating more momentum from the ball. Eventually, it's going to slow down. However, if you attach a rocket to it, the rocket's going to go out. And it's going to start slowing down. Because gravity doesn't... What's this momentum thing you're talking about? Momentum is this. It gets faster the farther it goes. Like this, look. Not very fast. A lot faster. Momentum. Could you show that again one more time? So the speed's greater. Yeah. Should I go for the farther it goes, the speed is greater. And if, I, if I drop it from the top of the school, the top of the tallest building in the car, and it hits the ground and it falls on somebody's head. <laughs> That's the person. <laughs> so, but but if I drop it and I'm right next to the person, I'm like this. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so now, can you rela relate that to the hole in the earth problem? Uh, the mom um, you said, what is this momentum you're talking about? And that's the momentum I'm talking about. Okay. Could you go back and and let's let's revisit the question of how yeah. the ball is going to change or you, I think you said it's going to speed up or slow down. Could you I say that again? It's gonna, the momentum, because it's pretty big. I mean, there's quite a bit of uh, well stuff between the core, the like the very middle, and right here. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of momentum, and then. It's going to pass the core, the middle, whatever. Um, it's going to go back up, not creating gravity. It's going to go back down. I mean, not creating momentum. It's going to go back down, not creating momentum, not creating momentum. And if it, if it doesn't have any momentum, it stops. See, look. Well, you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the point. If this globe. Uh, roll the straight circle, it, and I do just this, it stops right here. And then I do this, and it gets Yeah, 